everybody feeling today, man? Hey, let me tell you this. And, and I know there's a lot of people who's probably tuning in. And some of y'all, you know, because y'all have been indoctrinated with this, you know, street shit nonsense. Y'all think that regular culture is crime culture. So if people say they're tired of the shooting, they're tired of the killing, they're tired of the fuckery, you look weird. It's like, whoa, whoa, you're tired of black people shit? Unfortunately, I keep telling y'all, the people who defend the very worst of our society are no better than the very worst of our society. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell y'all that. So again, you know, it, it, it's not only it's not only for this particular case. Obviously, we love we love takeoff, but man, I think people feel such a boldness, and they're protected by the like. For example, I'm giving I'm, I'm gonna give you an analogy. I had no idea that apparently the crime was that wild in um, Atlanta, right? What's happened is that the people who are being affected, like for example, if you live in a street in a neighborhood where niggas is all day doing drive-bys, shootouts, selling drugs, doing all types of shit. You kind of, especially when you see those people with power and you see a lot of them, you don't want to really speak out and be like, yo, y'all should stop. So really, you don't really like uh, um, the people who are the real victims, which are the people who live in these communities that don't, that don't engage in some street shit. They're just like bystanders. So they catch stray bullets. Their, their, their property value go down. Their kids live in fear because they can't live around. So, again, some of this crime this crime culture we got going on, listen, I'm not here to, like, encourage nobody to go to jail or nothing like that, but Jesus, man, some of this crime culture got to stop. You know what I mean? I think we've devolved to a place where the first thing niggas do at the sign of any disagreement is pull out a gun. This is why we're seeing so many people die of straight bullets or, or die of gun violence, period. You know what I mean? And, and, you know, I know some people critical when I say, yo, I fuck with Saifani Willis out of Fulton County. And it's not because she's taking rappers off the street. I think she's taking an approach to crime that says, yo, listen, if if, if everybody just keeps ignoring the shit, it's only going to get worse. The only way to kind of quell this type of shit is to let niggas know that it won't be tolerated. Like, I guarantee this. You see the stream we did yesterday? When some of these hooligans are now in public, and maybe they still won't think twice. But if you think you're about to kill a motherfucker in broad daylight with 50 people around, and, and there's mad camera phones around and think you will not be identified. Come on now. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, so pretty much I, I think I think partially we got to change our thinking a little bit. You know what I mean? I think the thinking we have is, uh, is like w criminals should be protected. But, but we only think that until the criminal kills somebody we love. It goes back to when Cameron was like, if a serial killer lived next to me, man, I'm going to just move. Stupid shit, right? Anyway, um, by the way, <laughs> I guess we broke this fucking case down so well yesterday. I guess some nigga was sitting on the actual footage of really what happened because he had the actual shooter on, on on film. And after we pretty much broke this shit down, let's get, we broke it down like a pound, uh, like an ounce of weed, nigga. They have now sold the video to TMZ, so we actually have a video, which I ain't gonna lie to you, with this video and and and... Again, I'm going to Twitch litigate this, too, because we're going to talk through a lot of stuff. So I'm giving you all some Twitch lawyering, okay? I'm not an attorney, okay? I'm somewhat familiar with law, though. But, um, you know what I mean? This shit's going to be a bad, you know what I mean? But anyway, uh, we're going to talk through, like, what probably is going to happen here, right? I think at this point, everybody knows, okay? They're accusing at least one of the shooters. They're accusing to be someone that was with takeoff. Supposedly, that person is maybe even related to Takeoff, if not Quavo. Um, might have been a stray bullet. Who knows who fired that shot that shot him in the head? By the way, the coroner's report came out today. We're gonna look a little bit, look a little bit at that. This is all gonna matter in the grand scheme of things, right? Because again, that fatal shot and whoever f fired that fatal shot, um. Is gonna it's it's gonna matter a lot. Also, who fired the first shot is gonna matter a lot, right? Keep in mind, these ain't northern states; these are southern states. And even though it resulted with death and a gun battle, um, we definitely can say, based on how we see, like you know, 
situations like that happen in those uh, um, states, self defense is always a thing that could be used. You know what I mean? And and again, we're gonna get a little bit more into that. Anyway, I, I'll get straight to the. Where is it at? I'm gonna get straight to the TMZ footage that came out today. It's fucking clear as day. By the way, I don't know how we only ever get the the grainy footage first, and then the clear as day footage comes out conveniently afterwards. But uh, I think this is the uh, important footage right here. Also, we have a few more people to identify. I found the person who swung first. Well, I, I found the picture of him, and I'm gonna need y'all to I'm gonna need y'all help in identifying all of these individuals because the story still sounds wild to me. It still sounds a little skewed. I'm gonna tell you why it sounds skewed. Quavo take off, go to Houston. They link up with the Prince family. They link up. Probably, I don't know, hit the studio or do something, maybe dinner, with Jazz Prince. J. Prince Jr. does a night, a weekly, sh a weekly like event at that bowling alley place, right? They then link up with J. Prince Jr. Most of the dudes were seen around the vicinity either fuck with J. Prince Jr. or they fuck with Takeoff and Quavo. Now, here's why I'm saying that. It appears that Takeoff, Quavo, and the Prince family, it looks like they're on good accord. Also, if we go back to the footage where you can see a gun in between Quavo and Jazz Prince while they're driving, it's only, and we don't see no security, it's only safe to assume that Quavo and Takeoff was out in Houston, at least in that area at that time, under the protection of Mob Ties or Jay Prince or the Prince family. Why do I say that? It seems like they should be cool, right? So it's odd. If I go out somewhere and I don't bring my security and I'm under really the protection of y'all, it's odd that something would happen that gunshots will get fired if especially we were saying that there wasn't much outsiders from what we could tell there. Everybody we identified either had ties to the Migos, right? Or had ties to mob ties and, and J Prince people. So again, if they're if the, both sides are supposed to be cool, why the fuck is gunshot happening? Also, uh, and I should probably show more footage than talking less because it'll help you understand. We get to find out the dude in the white. The dude in the white. There is a picture. You know, I don't want to show no pictures with the body, but there's a picture when when takeoff. No, um, Quavo is over. Is over. Um, no, no, Quavo is over takeoff's body. The dude with the white hat. He's right there too. So it it doesn't make sense if he was like the cause of all of this shooting that he's right next to uh, um, Quavo, tending to a, a, a shot man, especially if the shots were fired because of you. That's what I'm saying. So whoever it is, I'm thinking they have had to run. Anyway, we're going to get to that. I think this is the footage in question. Let me, let me see. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is very important. This is good footage right here. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. So, I don't know if nobody notices this, but or I don't know if anyone in this little vicinity notices this. But this dude had his gun out the entire time. So this is a guy who they have said is one of the shooters, but he had his gun out just on his hip, which I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not doing too much arguing with the nigga standing in the vicinity of us with his gun out, even if it's pointing at the ground. By the way, I keep saying this about homie security. Homie security don't do de-escalations. De homie security can't aim worth the shit. Homie security don't realize that by you brandishing a gun like this, you're probably 
making everybody else uncomfortable, but whatever. Okay, so he just got the gun out. There's something very interesting when you watch this shit. This this is the dude right here, right? You're, you're gonna notice he's kind of looking like he's kind of like he's kind of like he's doing a temperature check. By the way, it's like he's. I have another version where I can get it a little bit slower. You see him? He kind of like looking left, looking like he's trying to size niggas up type shit. Remember, he got a gun in his hand. Look, see? Okay, we also got to listen to the words that's happening here. You hear somebody says they know y'all, but they're not going to be disrespectful. And this is where I'm thinking there's a third party entity that we might just think is down with Jay Prince, but they might just be vouched by like it looked like Jay Prince just vouched everybody there. You know what I mean? Or I mean Jay Prince Jr. Clearly, I'm wondering who that entity was. And I and remember yesterday we said it was the dude. Maybe it was the dude with the white hat. It looks like it ain't maybe necessarily him. Also, after talking, hey, I don't want to get. I ain't giving out no names. I've talked to a few rappers in the industry. They all watch the streams. I don't know if y'all know. All the rappers in the industry watch the streams. They love it. Okay, it's like a guilty pleasure of them. It's like also. It's in the same realm of listening to Charles White or, or fucking listen to Whack One Honey. They, they've watched the stream. A lot of them called me and they said, yo, they said, act. They say, I don't know how if you know about them dice games in Houston. They said, let me tell you how them shits go. When you go in there as a rapper, them niggas already, bro, they're, they're hitting you. In, in the sense of them niggas is fake. Like, yo, they bought a, whatever they win from you, they bought to split it. So, like, basically, it's like, nigga, they know you got the, probably, you're coming with a big bankroll. Them niggas is almost like fake gambling versus each other type shit to hit your pockets. So, at the end of this shit, them niggas is splitting that bread. You get what I mean? All right, by the way, you could tell, homie here, you got to know this body's language a little bit. Homie here, and Yo's B, thank you for the sub, bro. Homie here, this is a sign of frustration. He takes the hat off a little bit. Remember, he, he was, at first, he was kind of swinging left to right, like kind of he trying to either see something or just like, what the fuck going on? Then, then he does like pretty much something which is pretty obvious. You know, you see he take the hat off for a second. Remember, the gun's still at his side. By the way, he's constantly looking around. Gun still at his side. Constantly looking around. Who is this guy? Also, before we get to that, quick update. Quick update. Salute to this queen. Remember, remember the lady who was tweeting? She says, everything I know I posted, I want folks to know. I, uh, I want folks, wait, I know folks want to know. What? Everything I know I posted, I know folks want everyone to have every answer, but that's for the HPD to convey. No, no, She posted some other shit saying she talked to them. Here, let me see. Here we go. Here we go. Bang. Listen, and, and by the way, salute to this queen. You know, I, you know, I know, listen, internet bullying could be a very... Negative thing, and I hope no one, you know, encourage that on you, but it appears she has spoken to the, the Houston police. And let me just tell you all this, man. There's no pleasure in, 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 in shutting the fuck up and not, you know what I mean? Like, I don't care what nobody say. I can't be a snitch unless I'm in the ground. If I'm not in street shit, I technically could never be a snitch. <laughs> I don't care what, what niggas say. If I'm not involved in street shit and I'm not playing by some fictional street rules, I'm a law-abiding citizen, and I want to salute this queen because, again, you know what I mean? Y'all going to come in here with y'all hypocritical shit, right? Because y'all want crimes to be solved, but y'all want shit to be kept in the streets. Can't have it both ways. Um, she says, it's crazy how this internet shit, uh, internet shit is. Some of y'all is really sick as fuck. I spoke to Houston Police Department. There's nothing else I can help with. Everybody clap it up, for, clap it up for this. You know what I mean? This outstanding civilian doing her civic duty. <laughs> clap it up, clap it up, clap this shit up. 
Good. Now, I did, I did suggest to her that she should have gotten an attorney. And by the way, she probably, like, maybe she was going to willingly talk to the cops. The moment, and this is the thing with cloud chasing. I'm not saying she was chasing cloud. If you tweet that you were there, remember, they said all the witnesses ran. The cops are going to drag your ass in for questioning regardless. So they're prob they probably were calling her ass or somehow reaching out saying, hey, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. We want, we want to ask you some questions pertaining to this investigation of the shooting, and we know you were there because you, you corrected motherfuckers on what happened. If she was smart and followed my advice, you should probably brought a lawyer because, again, even if you're not involved, you know what I mean? Again, we still live in this crime culture where it isn't cool to be up on a stand and testifying. It's it, it's just less risk if you just, like, talk to the cops and you help. Maybe you say whatever, but you're not on a stand, like, doing the 6 9 point niggas out. So that's why I say to her, and also you're not in uh, up, um, you're not stopping their investigation because that could be a, that could be a charge as well. So I hope she she brought a lawyer, but she said she talked to the Houston Police Department. Great, <laughs> like, great. <laughs> Chat. Let me tell you this, man. The reaction to some of these things is when you start realizing why we are our worst enemy. We literally praise criminality. Okay, all right, so so good for her. I hope she stays safe. And I mean that sincerely because what's also kind of, what's also kind of apparent to me is that this whole situation There's no necessarily, there's no, there's no ops in the situation. I don't think that Jay Prince's side or Quavo's side has really any incentive to try to get niggas locked up because I think this is some shit that was, it just got too far and niggas couldn't control their emotions. Anyway, so homie got the gun in his hand. We gotta figure out who this guy is. Like, remember that chat. Somebody screenshot this. And this dude too. Remember their clothing. By the way, most of these people I'm, I'm pointing out now, some of them ain't got nothing to do with nothing. But the best way to really figure out exactly what's, what what happened is to fi figure out the trail of everybody during the entire night. Okay, we gotta see. We thought he was arguing with the dude with the white hat, right? And I wonder why he says, "Don't play like that, bro." It's like a nigga is in his face. And by the way. I didn't catch this yesterday, chat. Because I agree. Quavo walks off. But Quavo says this, and I think this is what sparked a nigga throwing a punch at Quavo. He walks off and he says, man, I ain't finna go back and forth with y'all. I'm finna hurt somebody in here. Or he says, it's gonna make me hurt somebody in here. Usually, like, you know if you argue with a nigga, the moment a nigga says, man, I slapped the shit out of you, nigga. Like, shit, everybody can tell. Everybody wanted me to get physical with that nigga Vic Mensa when he said that shit in the interview. And, I, and I'm working. I'm getting paid. So, so again, black culture says when a nigga says I'm about to hurt you or do some shit, it's time to get to scrapping. I'm only going by somebody said it's a threat. Don't play like that, bro. Here we go. I'm going to hurt somebody, bro. You sound going to hurt somebody, bro. Crazy thing about Quavo, man. He talked just like he rapping, man. That nigga sound like he gonna break out in the, into singing a hook for handsome and wealthy any minute, bro. Holy shit. I mean, Quavo is good with them one-liners now. My boy did say, we'll wrap it up then. Hey, like that, bro. Hey, like Back and forth, bro. I'm gonna hurt somebody, bro. Yeah, I'm finna. He said, I'm finna hurt somebody. Hurt somebody, bro. 
I would have hurt somebody. By the way, here's an interesting thing too. Does Quavo know his man's got the gun out? Because he walks in that direction. Remember, it's kind of almost like a circle, right? But but there's a ledge right there. He doesn't walk to the other way, which I'm guessing like whoever he was arguing was there. He walks directly to where the guy with the gun, he passes the guy with the gun, which actually is, makes sense. Who's that right behind him? Who's that right behind him? Is that a nigga with a gun? Bro, I'm gonna hurt somebody, bro. Yeah, somebody right here is in. This is a guy with a gun right here. Somebody's right here, right behind Quavo. And then we're gonna hear the punch. So a punch is thrown. Yeah, this guy looks like it looks like it's a darker shirt, right? This <clears throat> is a dark colored shirt. Wow. Bullets start flying quickly. Bro. Oh, shit. What are you doing? No, no, hell no. No, no, no. <clears throat> I'm wondering too, right? Here's the thing. If you argue with a nigga like that, right? If you argue with a nigga, he walks off, and now, I don't know if Quavo seems like he was to the left of, of the guy who's allegedly the shooter. If you argue with a nigga and his last words is, man, y'all might make me have to hurt one of y'all niggas in here. And then he walks past the guy, and you look in the, the other guy's hand, and he has a... I'm wondering if... Is it because whoever saw that dude with a pistol in his hand that made shit also go left. You get know what I mean? Because according to like, remember that message? From, uh, I could probably pull it up. It's somewhere. The message, let me see if I can find it. I got to look shit up off stream too. Remember the girl was just like, one of them pulled out and then the other pulled out because the other nigga had pulled out and then that's when the shooting started. Let me see if I can look it up. Yeah, yeah, right here. Right here. Bingo. Look, so Quavo was, start, was shooting dice, and he was getting his pockets broke off, so do that in attitude, try to get aggressive with the wrong mob ties, niggas. Right, with the wrong mob ties, niggas. Not going to drop names, and dude got on his ass, then somebody they was with jumped up, and that's when everybody bunched up. Then shots started ringing out. But it was coming from somebody Migos was with, but he was shooting wild and hit take off on accident. And the other niggas start shooting back. I think he got hit again, but ultimately his own, like this person got it on the money. His own niggas killed him. Cause when he got hit the first time, I seen his body drop. Hmm. So it looks like. Quavo walks walks this way. Let me make sure I can see my mask. Quavo walks this way. Another nigga right behind Quavo follows him this way. This nigga is a shooter with the gun at his side. He steps up. So he basically, so it, it's like, <laughs> yo, you ever seen that video with um, Young Berg? Was it Young Berg or somebody? No, 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 it was, it was that nigga Bow Wow. Bow Wow was, <laughs> yeah, tell me how you ever seen this video. <laughs> Bow Wow security. Bow Wow was talking mad shit to a nigga. And, and he was just like, yo, he, he, I think he shot at security like, yo, come handle this shit, man. <laughs> Y'all remember the video I'm talking about? Where's the fucking video? I think it was Bow Wow, right? It was like Big Rob or some shit like that. Bow Wow, Big Rob. Was it Bow Wow? Nah, it can't be Bow Wow. Who was it? Yo, start gifting out them subs, man. Yeah, it's said, yeah, it's an old video. Yeah, never mind, never mind. Okay, okay. Whatever, whatever, who cares? Anyway, here's the point I'm trying to say. <laughs> Let me just get back on time. Yo. The nigga walks off. He walks off behind the nigga with the gun. The nigga with the gun, I'm guessing he kind of steps up, but he got a gun in his hand. The only thing is, 
I'm for, I don't see where the punch happens here. At least on this this um camera angle. We're gonna check another camera angle. But anyway. Yeah, he oh, Yo, by the way, you see the guy with the white hat right here? He kind of falls back a bit. Look, this guy with white hat right here. Oh, he falls back into the girl. No, no, hell no. You hear the girl, oh hell no. No, no, no. Then you see the shooter right there again. Hey, by the way, by the way, I think right here, I think right here, right? I think right here, he's getting shot back at. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Tell, tell me if that makes sense. By the way, here's the funny part about it. Has anybody thought, because he hasn't been arrested yet, has anybody thought that maybe the shooter got shot? Has anybody thought about that? There's two people who got shot, right? So there's a woman who's 23 and there's a guy who got shot. We don't know who the guy. Somebody said, nah, his assistant got shot. What's his What's his assistant's uh, name? Oh, takeoff assistant. Oh, we looked that Jay Wash nigga, we looked him up yesterday. Jay Wash. It's him, right? Is it this guy? Let me see what's going on with his story. Oh, yeah, yeah, he did get shot. It says, get get healthy, nephew. I love you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he got shot. Okay. Wow. But, okay, even if he didn't get shot, those other shots... That's somebody returning fire, though. Yeah, y'all agree with that, right? Look. So the first couple of shots, I believe, is this guy. So if, if you're wondering how the bullets fly, it, it looked like the first couple of shots is that guy, right? Look. This is him. He steps up. Bang. That's him. One. No, no, hell no. No, no, no. Right? Here's the thing I'm wondering. Is either the other niggas are shooting back or he's shooting while while he's running? Keep in mind, l listen to the shots and look what he's doing. If he's the shooter, unless somebody's shooting at him or he doing one of these. Gun back there, which clearly, that's how straight bullets get hit. Well, not only that, niggas can't aim anyway. But still, if he's running one way and having the gun aimed the other way, you could tell, right? So either he's being shot at which would be consistent with him retreating or he's running away because he's seen them other niggas is pulling out gun suit, but he's still shooting blindly. Yeah, right here. It looked like he got a, he got, got a decent stance on the shit. Yeah, it looked like he, yeah, he started running. Oh, no, no, no. You got to listen at the end. There's two guns being fired. There's two guns being fired. You, you like, this is semi, this is semi-automatic pistol. Like, it's, it's a Glock, which I'm thinking it's a Glock. You could hear there's more than one gun. You see? You heard that? If anybody's been to the shooting range, you could, you could tell. You could tell. Anybody who's anybody who's been to the shooting range, you could tell. Somebody says three guns is definitely two. Somebody said three might be three. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's at least two, three guns. I agree with y'all. But definitely around this time while he's running, return fire is happening. It might be three. Again, I, I'm over here. I'm just listening to the cadence of the, the, the shots. Right there, you can tell us two. That's the same gun. Okay, then you start hearing another gun. Hmm. Fucking interesting. Um. Here's another thing I noticed. Oh, here's here's another person we gotta try to figure out. Let me keep going down. This is the nurse. This is a nurse. We trying to figure out who she is. Let me kind of, I want to move this stuff over here. I only want to show her. But that's the nurse. We're trying to figure out who she is, possibly. Now, let me go back to that first video where we see, where we believe there's a punch. Remember, I posted on the gram. This is the post they believe there's a punch. So you see. Uh, you see Quavo. Okay, you see the dude in the white hat. From what I'm being told, and I'm kind of believing it now, the dude in the white hat may have been mediating. He's with mob ties. Maybe the other nigga also might be with mom ties, but they don't know the nigga like that. It, it looked like they know Jay Prince and maybe this dude in the white hat a little bit more. Is it, so what people are saying is that they're, they're is he's mediating. So he might not be he might not be a, a, a bad guy in this. He's he's mediating. And the way Quavo is talking, he says, he just saw me play basketball. If you're arguing with the guy in the white hat, you wouldn't talk to him and say he. You would just say, nigga, you saw it. You know what I mean? You see that other voice? That's the voice we got to try to figure out who it is. Right here, shooting starts. Oh, what we saw as a punch isn't a punch. That's a shot. Remember yesterday we were saying because all right, let me let me bring this back again. Remember yesterday we were saying that this was a punch, but if you match it up with the time after Quavo walks off, it's a shot. It's not a punch. And remember, the, remember the nigga's foot. Somebody said that's a punch? The only reason I'm saying it's not a punch, it matches the time. It matches the time. It matches the time where um it matches the time that uh um um the shots were fired. Listen. So when he walks off, like, listen, listen, right when he says, like, I ain't about to go back and forth with you. We could count the seconds. Yeah. One, two, three. See? You, you hear, it sound like a shot before it. It sound like a shot. Look, look, look at the timing on this shit. The timing on this when he walks away is almost damn near immediate. Unless I heard a punch and thought it was a shot, but I, I think it's a, I think it's a shot, bro. 
And also, I don't think it was Quavo who got punched. Look, look. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. By the way, I'm hearing some extra shit. And I think this is why niggas was probably also on some shit too. Listen what Quavo was saying. Quavo say, yo, yeah, they want that money, but we could get all that back though. I don't know if he if that's like a threat too, like he, or he might just mean shit. We rich niggas, we about to get that money back. Who can give a fuck? Even though it's only seventeen thousand, right? But you hear how this thing of Quavo was talking. All right, see? Now we got to do the count now. One, two, see? See, that's a shot. That's a shot. There ain't no punch. Somebody said only 17K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, like, what do you think it was gambling? Millions? <laughs> oh, because I said only 17K? Bro, the Migos get paid still six figures per show. I know as a fact, Offset did some show overseas. They paid him over 200 bands by himself. So, in comparison, if you make, say you're making 200,000 in a show, what the fuck is actually $17,000? Chat, I'm right, right? That's not, a, that's not a punch. That's a shot. So back in this footage where we thought it was a punch, by the way, the guy, this is how we could figure out what exactly happened to. By the way, I, I know that guy. I found him. I found the guy with the shoes. Remember the guy who th y'all think yeah. sent the punch right here? You see, I, he started moving off. What y'all think is a shot, a punch, is a shot. Look. I know y'all looking at the ground. Oh, let me make this small, my bad. Uh, or like right then, maybe 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 a punch happened then. You kind of hear they they kind of touch the camera, so we can't really know. But but y'all were looking at the foot cue. The foot cue don't happen yet. The foot cue, and nobody's there's no commotion yet. Right here, right here. That's that's a shot. Look at this guy's foot right here. It's a shot. Nah, this nigga ducked down. He ain't swing. He ducked, or, or maybe this way. I don't know. Maybe this way. But the shot came first. The shot came first. It do look like he's he, he's doing a maybe a swinging type of motion, but the shot came first. I'm gonna go back and, and slow it down one more time. What y'all say? Okay, come on. Right here. You you hear that? That's the that's the shot. We don't see no movement with feet that would make it seem like a punch. We hear, Tah! that's the shot. Then you're gonna see you're gonna see his foot move like that. Look, like you you'd assume that's that's a punch. Oh. 
Hold on. Maybe this is a, maybe this is a punch. Yeah, maybe this is a punch. Look, I never seen this before. This is this is takeoff. This is Quavo right here, right? So Quavo got hit in his head, type shit. Oh yeah, so Quavo got snuck as he's walking off, type shit. Right. So Quavo got snuck because he fell. Or is this a Chucky doll? Somebody said this is a Chucky doll. Is this a Chucky doll? Wait. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm stupid as fuck. <laughs> I said it's a Chucky doll. <laughs> Where the fuck is Quavo? <laughs> I'm stupid. Oh, man. <laughs> That's why I'm glad I got 20,000 other detectives in here with me, nigga. We're going to be just fine. Actually, yeah, uh, no, no, no. We got about damn near 30,000 across all platforms. Yeah, we're going to solve this case, motherfucker. By the time we're done, we're going to write a nice opening statement for the state. Okay? <laughs> so it's a shorty who recorded this. You could tell she was not letting go of her back for nothing. Okay, there's some other videos. Actually, let me try to find it. Quavo. All right, give me one second. I'm going to show y'all something. Okay, with all due respect, with all due respect, and I believe, uh, I, I, uh, fuck, how do I show this? Uh, because I think there's just like a pool of blood down there. I don't want to show that on camera. Hold on, hold on. Let me do it like this. Let me do it like this. Let me do it like this. Give me one second. I, I'm, I'm not showing. I'm not showing the body, brother. Okay. Um. Let me see. Okay. I think. Okay. Yeah, and I, and I don't need to show the whole thing. I'm going to show you why I'm showing it. Um, Here we go. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay. Bang. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, the, the body's down below. I won't, I won't scroll up that far. Okay. The reason why I'm showing this is after takeoff is on the ground and he's bleeding all out, the guy in the white right here, remember I can't scroll up too much, you feel me? Guy in the white right here, the guy in the white right here, Remember this guy? He's seen talking to Quavo right over the body. I won't show the body. He's seen talking to Quavo right here. It can't be them getting into it because that would make no sense. If they was getting into it, like, I don't think they would be that close afterwards. You get me? Does that make sense? So I'm believing this new theory that this guy's the mediator. But there's another nigga there. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. So, so remember when we were we were thinking it was is this guy in the white who ended up did some bullshit? He looks like Quavo is at least in solid mind where they could be next to each other, because if this was the nigga who they were into it with, and 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 Quavo got killed over it. I mean, I, I mean, I take off got killed over. it, I'm sorry. This thing would just got blitzed. Like it's just whatever. You know what I mean? Okay, let me take this off. Oh, shit. All right, cool. There we go. All right. The next thing is the nigga who y'all are claiming did the punch. I have a picture of him. So I, I, I'm going to need y'all to identify that nigga. Let me see. Now we can get back here. Where is the other video? Okay, I have it in my DM because some nigga DM me. Nigga, you know I'm putting in work, nigga. I was I was reading every DM trying to solve that bit. All right, here we go. Here we go. And homie, your DM might get exposed on this. I'm sorry. I didn't save it from the DM. Actually, I could just... Oh, never mind. Let me just go back to it. His name is... Yeah, I don't want to expose this guy. 
one of my um assistant detectives, you know what I mean, he uh sent me the shit. Got it. So the guy with the shoes, right? The guy with the shoes, we got a nice clear picture of him. So if if there was a punch, it would have been thrown by this individual. Now we just got to figure out who is this individual. Okay? All right, here it goes. Bang. Okay, here we go, child. This guy. So, you see the shoes? This is the shoes. Let's go back to my. Let's go back to my post where y'all look at the shoes. Let's match it. See, I think this is the shoes right here. Look, I think this is the shoes right here. I think this is about to come into play. And, uh, all right, never mind. That, that's not it. Let's see, let's see. Once the swing happens, we'll just freeze frame at the, at the shoes. Hold up. Right here, this shoes. This is the shoes we talking about, right? Right? This is the shoe we talking about, right? This is the shoe we talking about, right? Is this it? The pants match? Yeah. Fuck. I'm about to take a screenshot. The pants match? So it's not these. This is the shoe right here. This is the shoe. It's a little blurry though. I some people are saying it's purple, but now nah, it look like it's white with with some darker color. Yeah, it's white and something else. White and something else, right? It's right here. With darker color pants, right here. And if y'all are saying this look like a swing. Right here. Somebody said, nah, those Pradas. Okay, we stopped seeing shit. His shit don't match? Nah. Not the same guy, right? Somebody said it looked like he's starting to run. I think he hears he hears a shot and, and tries to duck down. That's what I think is happening. Somebody said, nah, 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 nah. All right, all right. All right, scratch it off the drawing board. By the way, who is this, though? I'd be interested to know. I got go to go back to this other shit. Hollywood Unlocked. We gotta go back and find that one that one picture again. That one picture. We need that one picture. 
where everybody was standing around. Help us identify some shit. Hold on, give me one second. Also, we trying to figure out who this individual is, too. Hold on. Give me one second. We got another one. By the way, I ain't going to lie, man. Detective chatnik has been on the fucking case, man. Give me one second. I just got to put it up. This individual who y'all believe was trying to, like, y'all have said it. I don't believe it yet. So I would need more evidence on it. But y'all said there was a nigga kind of like trying to take take off his chain. Uh, I don't know if I'm buying that. Give me a second. It's coming through. Give me one second. Well, now we have this footage. Start looking, or, or this like photo. How about y'all look at these other niggas sneakers and see if it matched that sneaker that we thought. Was doing a punch. What about these right here? Nah, it's not these, right? These are Nikes. Y'all said it was Blue Pradas that did it? Okay, where the fuck is this thing at? Give me a second. Give me one second. I was waiting for this shit to come through. Anyway, I'll read some of my messages from y'all until it does. Uh, hey, somebody got what? Got what? At the end of the day, takeoff should have been still alive. Yeah, now, nah, of course. That's the whole point of the whole shit, man. Somebody says the nurse in the TMZ uh, um, photo is the same woman who called the ambulance. This is the... Uh, let me play the ambulance or the 911 call. I didn't see the that woman anywhere before the 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 last scene where Takeoff's body is already on the ground. So maybe she just came in. 522 Oh, this is a dispatch audio. This is not a 911 call. Then five shots fired downstairs. From downstairs, uh, outside, near 2004, the people next door are calling in about discharging firearms. It's not next door. It's from uh, 2202, possible discharging firearms or shooting, not sure which. Then just been so at Dallas, caller doing shots and people screaming. Who was shooting just occurred on SO, San Jacinto and Dallas? Please want to check out 22B23-1212 Grand Plaza for discharging firearms. Then five shots fired downstairs, from downstairs, uh, outside, near 2004. The people next door are calling in about discharging firearms. It's not next door. It's from uh, 2202. Possible discharging firearms or shooting, not sure which. And just been so at Dallas. Color, 
Those two shooting just occurred on SO San Jacinto and Dallas. Peace on the track, power 20 to be 23, 12, 12, grandpa. All right, that don't say shit, man. That don't say shit. Holy shit. Uh, somebody says, check the DMs. Yo, yo, y'all send the shit to like Grand Wizard or somebody like that, man. I'm trying to figure out this one thing real quick. My email just ain't working. I'm trying to email this bitch to myself. Where's it at? Let me just refresh the page. Sign. Ah, damn. All right, hold on. Give me one second. I'm going to send it to this computer. Send it here. All right, I got it. Hold on one second, chat. All right. So this is the nigga right here. Everybody keeps saying motherfucking... Possibly, like, th there's an angle when takeoff is going down. Somebody believe that there's there's this guy who's trying to, like, snatch his chain. Again, I don't know if this is true. Again, I think we got the main parts of w what happened. We know the main shooter. We still don't know who the other secondary shooter is. But we do have some people pointed out in some of these, you know what I mean? <laughs> we got lineups, nigga. I ain't gonna hold you. We got some lineups, nigga. So the nigga with the yellow hoodie, he's to the right of takeoff the, the majority of the time. We got Mike Prince over here. Okay, let's get this nigga out of the way right now. This is back at the where they were rolling dice at. And this is where people think that he was kind of like almost sizing up takeoff in a way. Because remember, takeoff steps up because something happens to Quavo, right? Who is this guy? Who is that? Hold on real quick. Oh, by the way, YouTube, I I, I got y'all comments on my screen now. Somebody said that's not the same guy. No, no, that's the same guy, brother. This guy is this guy, which is this guy. And by the way, there's another, which is, yeah, it's the same thing, bro. Same nigga. This guy is this guy, which is this guy. No, it's the same person. So I said, take off is the one um, that's falling. Yeah, but people believe that he was trying to grab something from takeoff. Somebody said, Ashley Corey Stevenson. I'm pretty sure he's not going to say anything. There was an interested back and forth. Though. Did y'all see this? By the way, you could tell some of the fallout from this is people gonna try to blame the Prince family. Um, I saw Sauce Walker 
say something. He says, he says, this one hurt. We all came in the shit together. Same time, same dream. Regardless of what we've been through, take off the king. Real no. You ain't deserve that. Wish y'all was with me in Houston. Quavo, I love you, brother. Sorry. Uh, 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 sorry or condolences. Ain't enough words to explain this loss. This is a L for Houston and a L for hip hop. Now, if you don't know, Sauce Walk is also from Houston. And I think Jazz Prince responded thinking like, yo, are you kind of say like he wasn't in the right hands? Like, what was you trying to say? Um, and this comment came about. He they deleted the sentence, but he says, "What you trying to say?" That's what Jazz Prince says. Sauce Walker says, "I said it already. <laughs> My number don't change." I ain't gonna lie. It appears it don't take a rocket scientist to figure it out. It appears. It appears that Sauce Walker is saying that you linked with the wrong niggas. Somebody said there's a new TMZ video? No, they're not. Wait, what the fuck? TMZ. Hear this. Tough though, because um, unfortunately, our community, our, the black community, has been sieged by violence for so long that we're used to just navigating around it, figuring out a way that. Nah, let's get straight to the shit now. All right. There's probably no new video. Um. Oh, the new piece of news which came out. TMZ and Houston police say late, man. I told you, man. Just mail me a badge. Fuck it. Here, here it goes. I'm gonna get to it. 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 Okay. The same guy we talking about, the geniuses, our coworkers over at Houston Police Department, has identified. Now as the person of interest. In reality, they're, they're just not trying to say suspect because they ain't trying to spook the nigga. They probably can't find him right now. Also, here's, the, here's what I was talking about in terms of some legality situation, right? This is going to come down to who shot first. And I think... Because this is a accidental shooting, right? If if this is something where it could be said as self-defense, manslaughter might be applicable instead of murder charges. Because clearly if he came with Quavo, he ain't mean to kill Takeoff. If he indeed did it, we don't know, but we pretty much did know, right? If he shot him by mistake, you would assume that the charge that would most likely go to trial would be a manslaughter charge. A manslaughter, if you don't know, is usually meaning that there is there lacks intent to kill or seriously injure however it happened. For example, okay, we see this a lot of times when people plea out or... The, They'll get found of manslaughter charges. Like, I don't know. Let me see what's a, a classic case of um, manslaughter. I don't know. Okay. Yo, he, he, your homie pass out. You throw him in the back of your car. You're speeding, doing 100 miles per hour to the hospital. You kill a pedestrian. You never got in the car to kill a pedestrian. You, um, you know, granted, if you're sober and shit like that, right? Um... That wasn't your intent, but somebody did die. That's where manslaughter usually come in. Now, the worst of worst when it comes to murder charges is usually premeditated murder, which is usually a first degree offense. And, and that usually carries in, in many different states, different 
um, penalties. I believe Texas is a death penalty state. So if, say for whatever reason, the cops could plan or the cops could prove that whoever killed Takeoff planned to kill Takeoff and that was their whole plot to kill Takeoff, you're going to be liable for um, the death penalty. They have the same, it's kind of almost the same type of legal structure that happens in Florida. That's why YNW Melly is facing, or he was facing, the death penalty because according to the prosecutor, they're saying that this wasn't a spur of the moment thing. He planned it out and he premeditatedly murdered these guys. So that's why they were looking for the, the, the death penalty. I think they were also looking for the death penalty for a while for TK. But I think that was, you know, um, it was shot down because if, if you look at um, how the TK shit played out, it was clear that, yeah, they went to do a crime. And yes, someone did die, but um, it's not like they, they planned to murder this guy in cold blood. You know what I mean? We'll Google some shit about it. Manslaughter charges Texas. Okay. <clears throat> and while, while we at it, let's think about, let's, let's look up some sentences, right? Because whether we want to admit it or not, the dude, one of the dudes who are involved in the shooting is cool with takeoff in Quavo. He, he, he shot it by mistake. That's what it looks like, right? Like, come on now. Like, we, we could all see with eyes. Definitely going to get locked up. Obviously, you know, um, it's an unfortunate event, right? And I could imagine that it being understood that the family of the victim, which is Takeoff, unless Takeoff's mom just, you know, because, you know, the, they're going to talk to the cops. If they're like, nah, nah, fuck that, go hard at the nigga. Maybe the prosecutor goes harder. But in situations like that, the, the prosecutor does take into account what would make the the victim's family happy. Like, for example, the reason why they're going hard at YNW Melly is that um, Juvie and Sack Chaser, their moms don't believe that that BS drive-by story. They believe that YNW Melly killed their, their sons. And they want the, and they believe he's sick for that. And they want the, 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 the prosecutor to put that nigga under the earth. So they're going super hard at him for that. If it's, this is the case where, you know what I mean, this is some shit where it's all everybody, whatever. Granted, no mother will ever not, ever, like, really forgive the passing of her son. But, who knows? Maybe it turns into a manslaughter situation. The minimum sentence, right, could be between 2 and 20 years. So the max sentence is 20 years. Right? Right? Actually, let me see. I don't know if there's different degrees to manslaughter in there. Okay, manslaughter is charged as a second-degree felony, and it happens when death of someone is, occurs by recklessness. No premeditation. That's why it's not the level of murder charge. Okay? Here we go. See, ve vehicular manslaughter is like if you race in a car, you race in a car with your homie, and then you kill somebody. You ain't planning to kill somebody, but you did Penalties for it. Fines up to 10000 two and 20 years. And, yeah. Who knows? You could get five years. You could get 10 years. Honestly, that's all about discretion of how hard the prosecutor is going and how much the judge feels that person should be punished. Now, granted, this is going to be taken into consideration. The mere fact you let off a gun in a crowded area, it's not going to be whatever. But anyway... Um, and you see defenses to, to manslaughter. The clear one is self-defense, right? But still, and I don't know if this works like this in Texas, but you might be able to, if you, if you successfully prove self-defense, the person you are defending yourself against, they then become liable for the charge, even if you shot the person. Like we saw that with Lil J. Right? I don't, I don't know if y'all remember that. With, with Lil J in Chicago, when he went to jail, he went to jail for someone with him. The, it was niggas with him and some other niggas, and there was like a shootout. The the people with him got shot, and he got charged for that. So when you're supposedly the aggressor, even if your man's got just like with Youngboy, 
when Young Boy and them went to go do the drive by, right? One of the charges he he caught was that one Young Boy NBA Young Boy's man got shot in the neck. They charged Young Boy for that. You get know what I mean? So if if you have if if which I don't think that dude has any type of I again I'm not no lawyer, so I'm just kind of like just talking it through. I don't know if self defense will work for him. I don't know if self defense will work for him. The nigga literally has his gun out the whole time. You know what I mean? It, it, it looks like he's. Granted, and and this is where I might be wrong again. This is Flo uh, not Florida. This is Texas, which is an open carry state. So technically, there's no crime with him having his gun out like that. There's no crime. But if we're if, if self defense has a lot to do with proven intent. You know what I mean? Like, hey, did you only use the gun to try to protect your life or the life of someone else? And I get, that got to be what's going to be used in court, which here's the next part we're going to have to think about. For him to possibly get self-defense or how court is probably going to go because his team is going to use self-defense. And y'all tell me if it's fucked up. Quavo would, would most likely have to be involved in the case to say, Yes, he what he pulled that gun out to defend me because the way how self defense works is not only defending your own life is defending the life of somebody you're with. So that's how security could get away with shit like that, right? If they kill somebody and they're like, "Well, it's self defense," so if they're defending that person's life, who they're they're guarding, it works. Would if if takeoff basically no, not takeoff. I'm not saying wrong. If Quavo is somehow, you know, in um involved in the case and whether I don't necessarily say taking a stand or nothing like that, but like if he basically lets the prosecutor know that, yeah, that dude was defending my life, that might get charges to look a little bit different. Do you get what I mean? So, this is going... Now, here's the thing. Let's look up the other way. Murder charges. Murder charges in Texas, you're fucked. Murder charges, Texas. Okay. So, you have murder, you got capital murder. Now, capital murder is when you, you kill a cop, they're frying you, nigga. Like, nigga, they're frying you. Death penalty all the way. Once it says... uh. So uh, homicide becomes capital murder when someone murders a, 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 a cop, firefighter, a cop on duty, or a employee of a penal institution. When more than one person is killed during a, a criminal act. Okay, okay. So if you kill two people, it's also capital murder. Okay. Or when the victim is under 10 years of age, which means it's a kid, a capital murder charge is results. The death, a death that occurs um, during the commission of a attempted commission of kidnapping robbery okay so if, so if you try to do another crime okay so it's easy to get a capital murder charge out here so if if you kill somebody while you're trying to do another crime which means you're trying to rape them you're trying to um uh, um kidnap him rob him trying to do burglary or arson it becomes capital murder as well if someone else pays someone else to do the murder or has been paid they get charged with capital murder. God damn. <laughs> For a person to be charged with capital murder, it's up to the judge to determine beyond it's up to the judge to determine beyond a reasonable doubt that the act qualifies for the charge. If there is doubt, then the charge may of be, be a uh may be of a lesser homicide when the person is charged with capital murder in Texas, the defendant could be sentenced to life in prison without parole or suffer the death penalty. When when I hear capital murder, I hear niggas is getting deep fried, man. Okay? This is murder right here, which obviously I think most people, they're usually comfortable. When people are talking about seeking some justice, they want the murder charge to, to be hit because the murder murder is usually in most states, at least one of the highest standards of, you know, penalizing somebody who kills somebody. Um, the murder charge, right? Murder is almost a first degree felony because this charge applies when a defendant allegedly knew that he or she would cause the death of the victim Murder is also charged when a person engages in a dangerous act that causes the death of another person. In cases where death is caused during commission of another felony, murder might be the charge instead of manslaughter. Okay, 
So that also makes it like a little um, interesting, which I don't think nobody else is committing no crime right there. So I think manslaughter is going to be the thing, bro. They're probably going to overcharge a nigga for murder, but they're going to bring that shit to court, get it down to manslaughter. Murder could also be a crime of passion, which qualifies as a second degree felony, which means like you, know, you walk in, a nigga's long dicking your girl. You know what I mean? Like this is this is the love of your life. So you so you so you stab that nigga fifty nine times. You know what I mean? Like still murder, but it's a little bit less because once it's a crime of passion, it's almost like borderline insanity. However, the defendant must prove adequate cause for such passion existed. Otherwise, first degree felony charge stands. The penalty of convicted is between five and ninety nine years. <laughs> okay, so clearly, if you get manslaughter. Max you could get is 20 years, right? Unless you got an extensive rap sheet, you're probably going to get maybe more. Than, you ain't going to get more than 15, right? So maybe you walk away with 10. Not, that, by the way, that's a long fucking time. Let, let me not, I'm not trying to <laughs> belittle nothing, but that's a lot more doable than you catch a murder charge and they could sentence you to 100 years. Nigga, somebody give you 60 years, they might as well just write on a paper for the rest of your life. And chat, just that y'all know, I know, uh, you know, the Houston police told told us the, the badging gun is in the mail. When this goes to trial, we become lawyers, too. We working on the law degree as well, my nigga. Don't you worry. We, we all around. We all around the judicial system, my nigga. Fuck all that. All right. Criminally negligent. Right, this is a, another one. Criminally negligent homicide occurs when negligence results in someone's death. Accidental shootings. Okay. That's one. Being responsible for an accident and not immediately calling for help. Nah, nah, that's not no accidental shooting. Shooting. Nah, that ain't an accidental shooting. <laughs> that's not an accidental shooting. Causing an accident due to reckless driving that results in someone's death, or other acts such as premeditated. Yeah, yeah. Nah, nah. Th th this don't apply. Homies getting manslaughter or murder. That's what it is, bro. The only thing is. He might be able to beat this whole thing if it could be proven that the the reason why he brandished the gun and the reason why he shot is because he saw another nigga with a gun or another nigga up his gun. At that point, they like that nigga might catch the murder charge. And even if say it was friendly fire and they, they hit um um take off and killed him, they might give the murder charge to the other guy. Yo, 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 Silas, you right. I could switch roles seamlessly, nigga. Nigga, we the detective, the lawyer, civilian, victim, and the judge. All right. Our job is not done yet, chat. The question still remains... Who is the second shooter? We already found the first. We can't leave it up to TMZ and, and, and HPD. They, they, they're not about to get this shit. Like, we got to figure out all the shooters. Okay? We got to figure out all the shooters. All right? So we figured out one. Who's the next nigga? Where this guy is our person of interest. Okay? We need full dossier on him. Name, address, bitches he fucking... Side chicks, everything. Also, we ain't trying to convict him too early. By the way, what's in his hand? What's in his hand? What is this? Let's zoom in. What's going on here? What is going on here, chat? What is going on here? How come no one is finding this guy's social media yet? What's going on here, chat? Is this a stick? Oh, hell no. Exhibit 3. Exhibit 3C. Y'all mark it. Is this a stick? Oh, hell no. 
Is this a stick? By the way, I'm going to tell you why this is very important. I'm going to tell you why I want to know what's in his hand. Because let's just imagine that the shooter, alleged shooter, who may have came with takeoff and Quavo, or Quavo at least, let's assume that he ain't had the vision of Charleston White or Stevie Wonder. Let's assume he could see straight. The person he was trying to shoot, unless he just one of them niggas like cockeyed Tracy McGrady type niggas, the nigga he was trying to shoot must have been in the vicinity of takeoff. Let's be honest. The guy who he was trying to shoot must have been close to takeoff. This is when shots start firing. Let's go back. Let's go back. Here we go. Here we go. Now we go back to this footage. Remember, this is where we believe we're going to track that nigga the whole time. We're going to track him. I need all my fellow agents keep your eye on the prize. Here we go. By the way, somebody find Chucky. We got a few questions for Chucky too. Everybody needs to be questioned. Chucky as well. Okay. Okay, yeah. you see takeoff kind of step up. Look. Is this the guy in the hoodie? He's right here. Remember, takeoff stepped up up here. The guy in the hoodie is kind of like here. Chat? This is yellow. I'm a little colorblind. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> this look a little light, right? It could be white, though. What the fuck? No, no, that's a white. We, we gotta find the nigga, man. Oh, no, no, that's not him. That's not him. That's not him. Fuck. Where does he go? We see him later, but he's, ru he's running back into this place. Look. This is him. This is him. This is him. Satchel, this is him. This is him. Well, here's the thing. If he's in here and we still hear shots firing, either the other guy's firing shots or maybe we see him run off screen. Somebody says red hat, red hat. Chucky, this is this is takeoff, right? 
He's stepping up. You see the guy with the hoodie? We just seen him for a second over here. This is when this guy's pulling out the gun. Oh, he must have been shooting at the guy with the hoodie then. He had to be. He had to be. Look, the guy's pulling. He's he's or he's not pulling it out, but like he got. Remember, he had to his side. He's about to pull it up, right? He's about to pull the gun up, and remember, takeoff is right here, and then the other dude is right there. And remember what we were just saying about what's in that dude's hand. Maybe he sees that nigga with a stick. Maybe, maybe, maybe he sees him with a gun, and he's trying to shoot him and misses, and takeoff is right next to him. His takeoff. See? The guy right here. Then we hear shots. Then this guy is running. Yeah, I think this guy was getting shot at. Because he was on the right side of takeoff. We hear two shots. I'm guessing that's when takeoff gets shot. He runs to the left. He runs direct. He's over the right of takeoff. So this is the hallway. He's over this side. And he runs, as soon as we hear that first shot, he runs all the way over the other side, which I got to assume that he probably thinks bullets is, is coming his way and probably was aimed for him. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know if this is true. But that means somebody else is shooting then. Yeah, somebody just said it right there. Uh, Timo says, white shirt, blue jeans, white shoes by the rail close to the end of the video is a second shooter. Let me see. He says white shirt, blue jeans, white shoes by the rail close to the end of the video is a second shooter. Let me see. White shirt, blue jeans. By the way, there's somebody right here with a white shirt, it seems, right? If you see anybody with a white shirt, let me know. This is this is takeoff, right? This is takeoff. This is that dude we've been talking about. Take off, dude we've been talking about. This is, you know what I mean? Look, take off is kind of right close to this dude. This is take off, right? I'm wondering if Takeoff was trying to shoot one of them other niggas and a nigga grabbed Takeoff and put Takeoff in front of the bullet. Because whoever this nigga is looking at, right, he's looking on the opposite side of Takeoff. If th This is Takeoff, right? No? Yes or no? Yes, right? Yes. Whoever he's looking at is on the opposite side of Takeoff. We, like, it's a theory that it might be the dude in the, in the, in the, in the, in the uh, cream or yellow yellow hoodie. Maybe a nigga just held takeoff right there and maybe got shot. Who knows? Yeah, you start seeing the guy with the hoodie again right here. You see him kind of start turning. Like he's turning. Oh, never mind. He's still looking this way. So whoever the shooter is, got to be this way, I believe. Like in front of him. Because he's walking this way. Whoever the shooter is got to be this way. 
because look like he let off a shot and he's walking up and that's when he start people start returning fire at him and he start running so whoever the shooter is got to be on this side behind the camera look see we seen the, the hoodie i think again yeah he's over here oh yeah i think he's a shooter oh shit this is what the guy is saying they said this guy's a shooter The guy next smash. Thank, thank you, brother. He says the, the guy next take off next to take off shoots first. Watch the video. Take off falls first before the guy in blue shoots. It was never a punch. It was a shot that went off. Then take off drops. Then the guy in blue shoots smash. I kind of agree with you. I don't agree with this whole punch thing. By the way, it, at this point of the video, is takeoff shot? Why do I say he's a shooter? I don't see no weapon in his hand. Or is this weapon right here? I see something black, but I can't tell. Yeah, this guy got out of dodge. BSB Music says that's a punch because everybody says, oh, that's a good point. That might be true. If it's a punch, people would be like, oh, shit. Right? If it's a punch, if it's a shot, niggas start screaming. So, the Mike Prince dude is telling Quavo, "Yo, they know us, so they're not gonna be disrespectful." So he, I guess he's calming Quavo down, type shit. Like, bro, they know us, bro. They ain't gonna be disrespectful, bro. Chill. And he said, "Nah, you hear him say again? Nah, they're not gonna be disrespectful." And I guess this where Quavo is continuing. I guess whatever they were talking about, man, about no basketball, bro. You just play basketball. They just saw me play basketball. Straight like that. Bro. Don't play that. The nigga had to be in the vicinity. When people say, when you hear the, oh, shit, at what point did takeoff get hit? Like, that, you know, I haven't seen, like, I know I know y'all say if you slow down, you can see when his body's dropping. But at what point did takeoff get hit? Is it the first shot or, like, in the middle of the shooting back and forth? Because I almost think that's a shot. And that's takeoff's body dropping. That's why you be like, "Oh shit!" Like I, it feels like that's somebody's body dropping. Somebody said takeoff got hit in, in the second to last set. Someone said, look at Leak You video. What the fuck is Leak You? Is it like a site? What's Leak You? Leak You. Is it a YouTube channel? Oh, shit. 
A nigga got oh, oh all right, bet here we go. I'm not, 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 I'm not,